welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the third video I've filmed today. Today's video is me showing you guys, like, I'm not showing you guys, not an opinion, but telling you guys how to clean your tank. Um, when you own a beta fish, my beta fish's name is July. She's blue and red. I love her. I got her close to 4th of July, so that's why her name is July. Um, I have not thought about her middle name yet, but I'm, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Her, um, full name is July Barbu, which is my last name, so that's why I named her that. I do not know what her middle name's gonna be. I, I thought about that. I want any more commissions, um, for it. I want something that's pretty that I like. I thought about Cinderella, because I love Cinderella or Ariana. Or I've even thought about Belle, because it's Belle. And I think that's perfect. So, um, that's where you're gonna be talking to you about that. And names I'd like, and let me know in the comments. the tank I got, well I've had, um, that I use to, when I'm cleaning my tank. It's a little bit bigger than the one she lives in, but I think it looks more small too, but this one, um, this bag holds like the filter and everything that I do not use right now because she's too tiny. Um, next, this is the lid. I did put these stickers on it. Um, that doesn't matter. This is the spot where you would put your fish in to the tank. Um, and this is the spot that holds the fish food. I do not use this lid. Um, sometimes I do because of my cats and cats eat the fish. Um, this is the tank that I put in. I put at least a little bit of water to the top right here. Um, warm water is the best option. Then I put in the pineapple house, you know, so she has a spot to hide. And my cats sometimes. And I put her in there. Make sure your fish is happy, safe, and there's no cats around. I've never had a problem with my cats. They just stare at it. But sometimes when I get close, I put the lid on. But what you want to do when you're cleaning your tank, um, after your fish is already in another spot, okay, um, you need to put your tank, put your lid in, in the sink, dump the water out, put like a trainer in the middle of the sink so it catches all the rocks. Then, yarn. You need to start cleaning out with hot water and Dawn Juice Soap. Dawn Juice Soap is the most thing I recommend. It's very safe for animals. It's going to deep clean the tank. I just let my tank sit in the sink for a couple seconds with hot water and Dawn Juice Soap just to get burn things off. Then I take a sponge a few minutes after and start scrubbing that tank. Then I dump it, the water that's in it, and rinse it at least two times. You want to rinse it two times. Then I put water back in the tank again um, and fill it up. Then I plug my tank into the wall with the plug so I know what temperature the tank's at because you want it at a, at least 70, um, 75 degrees to 80. That's the most safe temperature. I Googled it. Oh I don't care. I think it's better. She moves around. My tank's at 25 right now. That's also in Celsius. So that's like 72. Um, which will be fine. Don't want your tank to get too cold. If your tank gets too hot and it's at 35 in Celsius, Put two ice cubes in there. That's what I do. It cools the tank down. Do not put your fish in there, though, with the ice cubes in there. That's going to hurt them. That's not safe. I just let them sit there and melt. And I just stand there and clean the tank. Um, always have a fish net. I have learned so many times. This is the one I got. I got it at Pet Smart. Um, always have this. And that this will get your fish out. I was using cups to get her out. And that did not work. She did not want it. She was scared of it. She would go around and hide. So always get the fish out. I mean, that's just a little lesson about how to clean a tank with your fish. If you have a beta, any fish too is probably. But see you guys.